So here in Final Cut Pro 10.3, I wanted to cover how we can use our index and our search across here on the left-hand side of the timeline to change multiple durations of different elements that we're adding in Final Cut Pro 10. Now this can be used for titles, it can be used for transitions, it can be used for images that you're using a slideshow. It's a really great feature that did feature in Final Cut Pro 10.2, but it's definitely a tool that will save you a lot of time when you wanna make duration changes to these kinds of elements en masse. So we're gonna go ahead first of all and have a look at how we apply this to a transition. So if we grab all my clips in this edit and we hold down the command key and tap T. We're going to add a transition to all these clips and we're going to click create transition here. It's going to shorten the duration of some of our clips slightly so that a transition can be applied. So we're going to click create transition here and you can see that we have a series of transitions on our timeline and um, that we can modify and edit. Now to change the duration of a single transition we highlight it and we can drag it out or stretch it in depending on how much media we have available and then we can also hold down the control key and tap d and that enables us to type in a duration for that transition so i'm going to type in one five there which is going to make that transition slightly smaller now, there's a couple of different ways we can select multiple clips on the timeline the first one is using the command key so if i hold down the command key i can click on multiple clips and the nice thing about this is that it can be done in or out of order so you can see i've selected three clips in a row there but I can jump to the end and I can now hold down control and tap D and change the duration of those clips, even though they're not right next to one another. So I might want a different transition duration for these clips, for example. So 10 frames rather than the initial one second. And then the next way um, that we're going to have a look at changing the duration of these transitions or these cross dissolves is in the index. So you can see here that we have the cross dissolves listed and we're looking in the clips tab here and we're looking at all our clips and you can see we've got our movie clips and our cross dissolves listed there so if i type in the search cross then straight away we're going to have all the cross dissolves listed here and we can highlight all of those and you can see it's highlighting our cross dissolves but not our clips in the timeline here so each of these cross dissolves is highlighted but not the clips themselves so now i can hold down control and tap d and type in a new duration for those transitions so 10 frames is going to shorten those all to 10 frames if you are not a big fan of the shortcuts then under the menus we can go to modify and change duration you can see the shortcut here for this is control and d so whichever way you choose whichever way works for you will end up with the same results so i'm going to change these to half a second and you can see we can quickly change the duration of those so the same applies to titles so if i jump in here and i'm just going to add some quick titles to my clip here so one i'm using control and t to add the default title so it's adding the basic title and we can see that basic text just kind of popping over the the top of the clip there okay and i'll add one more here so now with those titles selected, if I go to my index on the left-hand side here, we can obviously select these manually using command to select them all, or we can come to the index here, remove the search for cross, and then we'll jump to our titles and we'll see them listed here. And so now in order to change the duration of this timeline, there's a couple of steps here. So I need to select my first title here in my index, hold down shift, select the next title, and then before I can change the duration of those, I just need to click once back on the timeline and then I can hold down control and tap D and it will allow me to change the duration. So I'm gonna type in five period or full stop and hit enter. And you can see now all those titles change duration. Okay, so we can do that all in one go. And we can also obviously highlight these in the timeline as well by using the command key to select titles that perhaps aren't in order when we're selecting them. So the last thing we'll look at here is how to change the duration of multiple images in a timeline, which is great for the creation of slideshows in Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm just going to zoom out from my timeline a tiny bit, and I'm going to come up to my project library here, select all these images, and I'm going to use the append edit button here to add these images to the end of my timeline. So if I just hit shift and Z to come back and zoom to view my entire timeline, then essentially what that does is instead of placing the clips and splitting the timeline at my playhead, it's added them at the end of my timeline. So it's gone right to the end of my entire edit and added those clips using the append edit. Now I can go ahead and select 
those clips either on the timeline or I can come to my index, go to video, which is where my images are listed. And then I can come down and scroll down and highlight all those images. And again, just click back once on the timeline and then go to modify, change duration. And I can change the duration of all those images in one go. So if I type in four period, then it's gonna change the duration of all those to four seconds. Obviously we could then go and add transitions, modify the duration of those transitions, but this is a really useful feature of being able to search for different items, different clips within the index here in Final Cut Pro 10.3, and then to change those durations en masse. And especially with particular images or transitions or titles are next to each other. It's a really great way of finding things in the timeline too. And you can see my little pointer here points to where I am in my timeline. So that's the end of this tutorial today. I hope it's been useful. It's certainly a great time save for some of the work that I do um, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.